Hello everyone, my name is Thomas now. I'm being quiet and also resting my uh, voice at the moment. I'm going to let people know that I want to make this, but I am a bit sick since um, Monday. I managed to pull off Monday, but Tuesday is today. I couldn't pull it off. I want to make this video to show something with you guys. And I have to look in the mirror because I'm using my phone, which has one screen, so I don't know where I'm looking. And what I want to share with you guys is why I'm choosing the game design pathway and why I'm going down that path. At the moment, this is a very important week, and I was hoping to be better today, but unfortunately, I'm going to be knocked back somewhat with what we're going to learn. We were going to be learning how to code this week, and sadly enough for me, I just happened to get sick. I managed to pull through all the way on Monday. Today's Tuesday, and I'm still a bit sick, but I did find a bit of a secret remedy to helping my um, throat out a little bit, because my pain was just immense, and I didn't feel like I'd go to bed, but I feel like I could go to bed with a little bit of resting my voice and not talking, not breathing hard or nothing. It's kind of wearing out now and I was hoping it was going to help but now I'm making this video to make it hard so I'm going to have to remedy myself again. All I did was take some go coke and hold it in the back of my throat there and just let the pain kill me a little bit and then eventually I could just didn't feel the pain so much. Anyway, as a lot of people know I go to AIE, which is on Grenfell Street in Adelaide, and what I'm doing there is learning game design. Now, for people that don't understand a lot about it, I'm actually one of those people that I'd say support people with this stuff, but I also play a supportive role as a team leader sort of thing. A lot of people do and don't like me, I'll say. I've got some people in class that are encouraging me to go the wrong way. Basically, I say I like cars and automotive, and they're telling me I should just quit the game design and go and do that stuff. But the reason I ignore them completely is because I know where my talents lie, and I know that they're wrong about me, and that I shouldn't go down that path that they're telling me to go down. Because I know in the long run, it's not going to be uh, good for my... Uh, it's not going to benefit me in the long run, whereas this will, and I could probably make some changes where I live and help other people out that's going to need it because of a lot of struggles that are happening. Because where I live, there's a lot of jobs being lost, and everything that I can do here will be good if I can get to a certain point and use my mind to create something new or something improved. But anyway, without further ado, I want to show you what I wanted to show you guys. And yes, my bed's a bit messy, sorry. I normally wear this to school. I wear this now to school because it's winter, it's cold. But this is what I wanted to show you guys. This is um, my evidence tasks and I've gotten all competent. Now, if I was at school, I'd be on NYC, which is not yet competent. I did get that for this assessment because I was reassessed apparently. I like handed in my assessment and said, is this good enough? No. So I ended up getting competent with that after a little bit of um, fiddling around with files they were missing and all over the place. But this one got it done on the first shot. And the exact words basically don't conflict with um, what I said about myself. All documentation submitted and satisfactory. A massive amount of work done by done here, Michael, and all very impressive. Your level is fun, and I love the upgrade path as well as the lack of breaks. Good model work and attention to details in your level. Nice physics work as well. You are looking like... I can't even read it because the camera is so terrible. You're looking like a multi-talented level designer with art and level design being your strong suits. Fantastic work. Since I'm actually no good with coding because I don't have the support behind me and this week I was going to have that support. I've only had one day of it. We we're going to learn algorithms today. I have no idea what we'd be learning tomorrow if I was at school because I didn't want to... I, I want people to know this. I decided not to go to school today because of a few things. One, I woke up this morning at about 
I was thinking about getting none. But before I got up, I went to do some business. And uh, let's just say I didn't really last that long on my feet and I felt like collapsing. So that's when I decided, you know, if I go and walk 15 minutes to the train station and I end up falling to my feet and don't get to the train station, then that's just going to be a waste of my time trying to get to school. I'll be weakened throughout the day. I'll struggle throughout the day. But on top of that, more importantly, I'll be affecting other kids in school by making them sick. No matter how much I hate some of those guys, no matter how much I like them, I want to help them as much as they could help me. I can help them and they can help me. I'm going to struggle still with coding, but that doesn't mean no one there isn't going to sort of try to help me at least. But thinking about them as well as myself makes me want to, you know, stay away from them because they'll be able to learn and they'll be able to stay at school and learn. Whereas if I went to school and they got sick, it'd end up bringing them down and they wouldn't be able to learn and study. But there is a cold going around. The teacher had it that we had yesterday, but he never had what I had, which is basically a viral infection. His was more of a... You know, your voice cuts in and out like this. And then you can't hear him anymore, sort of thing. But... <clears throat> I, I... I feel very strongly about doing this game design stuff, but I never really have time at home to do anything other than, you know, work. There's just so much stuff, even though I do take time to... Because as soon as you hit the keyboard and start bashing away and start working your mind and everything, it ends up in a lot more work than it's worth. Or you get stuck or something and starts bringing you down. I prefer to do the school work at school. In a way I'm designing something to myself, I'm not working at home. I should be coming home and I should be doing some modelling, I should be doing some level design, writing stories, doing art, something here. And I should also clean up my desk because my desk is Quite messy and filled up with stuff, and I don't even know how I'm able to play games. By the way, for some of you guys who watch my videos, this is a new wire for my headset that I sort of made up. I bought it for about ten, fifteen dollars, and I destroyed it. As well as you can see here, it never fits. If I change it around, this is what it should look like as a brand new cable, and that's what I've done to it. I just took it outside, put it on a linen shirt, and that's what came out to be. Well, at least my mic's still here. <laughs> oh boy, I I just really would like to stop talking. <clears throat> but I do still think about my YouTube stuff. But I had to ask myself something. Because I've been watching videos before going to bed. I was going to go to bed already, but I didn't because I'm trying to remedy my throat. Now it's too late. I'm, I'm, I've been cheating. I've been taking these too frequently. These are meant to be every four hours. I took them every ten minutes. Uh, every time I had them. So I had two within ten minutes of each other, basically. That was cheating. And you meant to have them every four, six hours, I think it says. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Two to three hours. By the way, unfortunately for me, these things aren't even helping. Not if, None of the lozenges have been helping me at all with this bug. It's been horrible. And I normally take two of those because they're not working anymore. It just feels so weak. I'm just proud that I can make this video and if I want to, I can upload it to the internet or whatever I want to do with it. It's going to be small because it's small and whatnot. Uh, yeah. I do have one thing I want to say to people that hate um, these things. Let me just pick up the boxes under my table. Uh, anyone who's tried these, they probably... Everyone has said these suck. I'll be honest. I do like the old ones, but I do like the new ones as well. I mean, there is something about these that makes me say these are better, while the other ones are still better in their own way. they got their own benefits. But the old recipe's flavour was better than this one's. It's just these ones... You could end up getting used to them to the extent that, you know, both sides are flavoured and when you eat the cookies, the biscuits, the flavour stays in your mouth a lot longer than the pizza shapes that they originally made. I would prefer the original recipe, but with these sort of benefits, like, it stays, the flavour stays in your mouth. They say, 
It has cheese in it. Wait, where's the cheese? I thought it's... It doesn't say cheese. It's got a picture of cheese, though. There's no cheese on this box. Like... They got some things right, and they got some things wrong. Yes, I have a bucket of Smarties on the ground. I have another one floating around somewhere, which is just empty. I have no idea where it is. But other than that, um, I'm working on some ideas in my mind. I've tr done a little bit of modelling of something at home, but I do not know how I'm going to do stuff. I feel like I should do what they taught me, do design first and then build it, but it's really hard to figure out how to do everything in the right manner, in the right... Uh, I don't know. All I know is I've got to learn to do some coding and code up some tools eventually so I can model a little bit easier like set heights and then have roads going around mountains and all sorts of things and get some textures working and rolling and whatnot. Anyway, I thank you all for watching and thank you all for hearing me. I'd like to rest my voice now and soon get to sleep because it's, it's 10.30 here and I'm feeling pooped and my throat's just killing me and well I need to pack that away I've, I've got to try and get this bug gone and I'd like to be feeling up to it to go to school tomorrow because if I can go to school tomorrow then I can start learning some more code which I'll be honest I was going to cry the other day because of that one letter I got and so I was happy about that but I was feeling sick when I got it as well I said to the other kids at school I was going to use chili to kill my bug overnight and I'll be here tomorrow but when I had those effects hit me it, it's like you can't make it, I can't risk it you, you either take a risk or you don't take a risk and I don't want to take the risk I don't want to destroy my own life, I don't want to destroy others lives it's an important week yes but there's always that off-shoot chance, off-shot chance, that someone will help me get to where I want to be at. And I might not even need the coding abilities, because someone might teach me, or someone else might do the coding in the game stuff. I'm planning ahead of how I'm going to do game jams as well. Because I've got some ideas on strategies for making game jams when I get to that point where I can do game jams with people and make a game in 48 hours, 24 hours, whatever it is. I think it's 48 hours to get to make a game. And I've got some strategies up my sleeve now that I've generated on how would I make a game jam and what topic I'd have to use and how would I figure out what I'm going to make using that topic. I've got some strong strategies there that should make it possible to get it done in the 48 hour period and have it top notch. Anyway, thank you for, for watching and I hope you don't get sick because I sure as um, hell wish I didn't get sick. Anyway, see you later everyone. Just for the record, before I do make this video end, I decided, you know what, screw this, I'm going to show you how many lozenges I got in my hand. That That's how bad I am. <laughs> it's, don't, don't do this at home, kids. Your bodies won't hack it. And it's probably a bad idea anyway. It makes you, it acts as a laxative. I don't know if it says on the pack, packaging, but it sort of acts like a laxative. I wonder if there's any actual laxatives in this. No, nope, it doesn't say, damn you the hell.